Welcome to Duluth in the state of Minnesota on the banks of Lake Superior over my shoulder. My name is Ian Stenterford. I'm the Global Vice President of Electrocatalytic Systems in the Evoca Water Technologies family. Electrocatalytic Systems have been addressing the needs of the oil and gas, power and marine industries since the 1950s. Our seawater electrochlorination products under the Chloropec brand and our cathodic protection products under the KPEC brand are typically applied to prevent and protect against marine biofouling. Over the last decade, we have developed and released our new Secure product, which has the Chloropac product inside, to address the needs of the ballast water treatment market. As long ago as the 1990s, the International Maritime Organization recognized the harm being caused by invasive species being transported from ecosystem to ecosystem in the tanks of seafaring vessels. In 2004, the International Maritime Organization, or IMO, adopted a treaty to its member states to regulate the transportation of invasive species between ecosystems globally. The IMO imposed a testing program to ensure all systems that were installed on vessels were performing to a certain efficiency and, and were robust enough to do the job of treating the ballast water. Our Secure system successfully received full IMO type approval in February 2014 following a series of tests in varying water conditions, including fresh water, brackish water and seawater, as well as six months on a container vessel to prove our system against seasonal variations. In parallel to the IMO regulations, the US Coast Guard have implemented their own regulations, which some would argue are even more stringent than the IMO regulations, for all vessels entering US waters. Having identified the environmental and economic impact of contaminated ballast water entering the US seaboard and Great Lakes. The US Coast Guard regulations come into play on the 1st of January 2016. We had the choice to test our system in a number of facilities around the world. But we chose to test our system here in the United States under NSF and, the, and their approved independent laboratories at GSI here in Duluth and with Merck in Baltimore and Norfolk. Here at the Great Ships Initiative land-based facility, we are located on the Duluth Superior Harbor, which is uh, in Lake Superior, one of the world's largest freshwater lakes. So here we do freshwater land-based type approval testing only. Here at GSI, we analyze all the biological parameters that are specified in the U.S. Coast Guard and International Maritime Organization standards. And those are nominally zooplankton, protists, and microbes. We also do uh, water chemistry, water quality, and physical measurements as well during testing. The biological analyses that we do here are based upon the U.S. Coast Guard regulations in which a document called the ETV protocol is referenced, and all of the methods that we use here are the methods that are outlined in that document. Okay, so now we're going to head inside and take a closer look at our Secure ballast water management system. Filtration is the first step in the Secure process. A 40 micron screen takes out larger marine life from the water. The filter gets automatically backwashed. The chloroprac electrolyzer produces sodium hypochlorite right out of the salt in the seawater. Direct current is passed through the seawater and chlorine is produced at the anode. The chloroprac electrolyzer has several features that makes it ideal for the use on an ocean ghosting vessel. It's a tube and tube design where you have a small annulus gap between the tubes. Through this gap, the water flows very quickly and turbulent and removes all hazardous deposits that are present there. The second feature of the electrolyzer is the material composition. The electrodes are produced out of titanium platinum coated. This way they can produce chlorine down to freezing temperatures. There's no need to heat up the side stream. While the chloropack cells are the heart of the system, the control panel is the brain of the system. Here all information come together and are processed by the PLC. So for example, the PLC initiates the filter backwash if the differential pressure is rising. Or the system reduces the chlorine production in clean water. 